Hi, this is Fred. This is an overview of BigBlueButton 2.5. BigBlueButton is an open source virtual classroom designed by educators for educators. As of today, we're localized into over 55 languages and we are deeply embedded into Moodle, Canvas, Schoology, and many other learning management systems. Here's what's new in our latest release. Two usability improvements, webcam pinning and download snapshot of current slide with whiteboard annotations. For webcam pinning, as a moderator, you have the ability to pin any user's webcam. This will pin it for everybody. And this is useful if there is example, somebody doing sign language in your class. Next, oftentimes a user may want to download the current slide with annotations. To make it easy, we now have this option to choose snapshot of current slide. When you choose it, the slide comes down with the whiteboard annotations as a PNG image. And here I just clicked on it and it opens up in preview on my Mac. Cool. Next, for instructors, we're making it easier for you to manage your class. You can now easily change the time of breakout rooms and broadcast messages to all breakout rooms. To show the capabilities of breakout rooms, we're gonna create some breakout rooms. Here, I'm gonna have student A join the first room. I have student A here on the right-hand side, so you can see them both side by side. I won't show any audio, and I'm gonna make the chat a bit bigger. So the capabilities now with breakout rooms is you can message all breakout rooms. So let's say, good luck luck everyone and you'll see this message appear in the chat and big blue button confirms it was sent to two breakout rooms you also have the ability to change the duration so let's say instead of 15 minutes you wanted five minutes i apply this the students will get a notification that the breakout room time is now five minutes and you can see here it's now counting down from five minutes when you're done you can end the breakout rooms and everyone comes back to the main room cool Next, we allow you to accept multiple responses now in polls and in multi-user whiteboard to lock students so they cannot see each other's mouse pointer, which opens up some really interesting ways for visual engagement. Let's take a closer look. Let's start a poll. If I choose, say, A, B, C, D and not make any changes, when I click Start, students are prompted to choose either A, B, C, or D. I'll choose A. We'll publish that. And now let's start a new poll. And this time I'm gonna allow multiple answers per respondent. When I start a poll, students can now choose multiple responses. So A and C, I think are the correct answers. I submit and you'll see A and C here. Now when you lock viewers, you have a new capability to prevent users from seeing each other's cursor in multi-user whiteboard. Let's show you an example. Here I have a class which I have a map up. And what I'm gonna do is ask the students, point out where Spain is and you can see the cursors moving around. So I, as a teacher, can visually see if most students are getting it correctly, but they cannot see each other's cursors. So it's another way of doing visual assessment with your students. We've also added three new capabilities to the Learning Analytics Dashboard. We will give you a scorecard view of any student, a timeline view of your entire session, and the ability at any point to download the data as a comma-separated file. Let's take a look at a sample class. Here I have four students and the class has been going on for about 25 minutes and we've done some polls. The learning analytics dashboard will show you the attendance. It'll also show you the activities, how students are engaged. Here I can see Lucas has the most and it will also show you all the responses to polls. So here I can see that maybe Lucas hasn't gotten the correct answers compared to others. The three features we added are this. The first is a timeline view. You can now see a thumbnail of all your slides and all the students' participation, here are the gray bar, and any emojis you did, such as a raise hand. The second is on the activity score, you can now click on any user's name and see a scorecard. So it'll show you exactly when they've been online, and you can see how the activity score was calculated. It's relative to others' activities, so you can see relative to messages, raise hand, and polls, the score out of two that Lucas got. And you can also see the individual students' polling results, and here, the most common answer shown, and you can see that maybe perhaps Lucas isn't getting it right. The third option is the ability to download session data. So at any time you can download it now as a CSV file, and when it comes down, you can have the browser set up to open it up, say in Excel, and now you can see all the students, you can see their activity scores, you can see the activities they did, when they joined, and you can see the duration they've been in the class and the responses to all the polls. This data is now available for you. That's an overview of what's new. For more information, visit bigbluebutton.org.